Hello friends, good week, how are today? Welcome to the weekly review for the 21st of May 2012. Well, the previous week was uh, kind of falling knives. The bearish days we have had and the bearish moves we have had were clear. They cut it all the support and going through. During the last days we got some stops. Uh, as I said two weeks ago, and on previous weekend, uh, I believe on a bearish market nothing good is happening, and I think it might continue. But as for every move before it continues, it has to correct itself. That's the basic rules of cycles. Well, uh, we have s many opportunities for the upcoming uh, week, uh, probably upcoming period. So let's put it all on the table and see what we have. Pound New Zealandian. As we discussed about this one, we got a duplication. Well, we get much more than duplication right now. Uh, on a big view, this is one, two, three moves. Fourth, uh, a wave should come. We have a stiff resistance just around this area, around the 206. Uh, this is not the line, this is the line, right? Just right here on the 206. And we expect the pair to make a correction. If you pay attention, we have 17 candle already right, right? Uh, 20 candles right on the Bollinger Bands, and more should provide a clear down move to close the lower Bollinger Band. From my point of view, it's only a question of time until this pair makes strong down move. As from current areas. I think that Pound New Zealand can go and correct for 4 until 500 pips, maybe even more. <coughs> but what could happen from here is the pair push up to close the gap or even create uh, and reach the next resistance area, close the gap here on the next resi resistance area, push it the last way to create new divergence on the current wave and then if it does not begin the correction right now, then I believe that from these areas the pair will correct for around 6 to 800 pips on the long term, of course, <coughs> before continuing higher. Because based to weekly chart, I do believe that the pair will go higher. But based on daily, as I showed, I believe correction is coming. If 206 will not hold and we have a close above, then as up move should start. How I see the things, uh, some flag move right uh, like here, then possible another push and then crash for the huge correction. For the long run, I do believe that this trend line that was holded several times will hold again. How far it will be, no one knows. As for now, we will the line that has to be reached uh, before uh, before the down move will uh, gain bearish momentum, this is the first line that must be reached. So I do believe Pound New Zealandian should make a down move to around uh, well, 2350, maybe lower to this line. If this line will be broken, we are moving much, much, much lower. <laughs> That's the plan for Pound New Zealand. If we take a look on his brother, the pound Australian situation is almost the same. Daily chart, right? Uh, we have m already, uh, since the break, we have uh, around 14, 15 candle ride, also can go and create a little bit higher, right? Around the 106, 161.50, maybe even higher, 162.50, maybe even, uh, well, this is the weekly uh, strong resistance, maybe even uh, 165, but I don't think it's about to happen on one way. From my point of view, the well, we have the resistance here as well. Uh, or from the current area, or from the next area, the stop and the divergence we have, and the extreme areas we have, will make the effect and the pair will move down. I do believe that this, uh, this trend line will be reached. So. That's how I see the things, or a move like he, or like this, or from the higher place, a stronger move down. 
from now I, I could expect a correction of around 250 300 pips if it goes higher I expect 400 to 500 pips correction pound New Zealand is definitely a, a trade to begin the sales to try to find the sales uh, as I believe the move is about to happen yes but don't once, once again don't get me wrong it could push higher the higher it push the stronger uh, the down move will come the cycle move will come after that only question of time Australian Canadian is a beautiful beautiful trade uh, to follow from my point of view the weekly chart can go for duplication means going and reaching again uh, around 097 098 range this is something like that approximately uh, the weekly duplication should go and reach be reached and that's why every up move for this pair should be considered as sell opportunity until the pair <coughs> sorry reaches the around 080 uh, 098 sorry 98 area uh, approximately and recreates the divisions but this support must be broken first uh, so this pair can go lower okay I do believe the days for these pairs for the down move are about to be finished I think if a pair breaks down it goes to 098 or 97 approximately will make the stop and will make huge return up stay tuned this pair is about to be bought soon right? uh, yet it is on the sell position okay euro pound this is the next pair to, to see to discuss we have an extreme RSI and we have uh, well kind of double bottom for MACD not exactly the class classical situation but the weekly chart has a beautiful divergence can the pair go lower definitely it has uh, first of all the support around 080 breaking this one lower and we're going all the way to 078 but from my point of view the current extreme situation should first of all push the pair higher how much 20 ma as target number one then probably the pair will make another attempt for lower low or some correction before closing the uh, daily 20 ma uh, gap we can see that the pair has more than 20 candles right yes it did has an attempt here but still <coughs> it never retraced uh, directly so I do believe that around this area the euro pound is on a buy place and the lower it goes the bigger the retrace will be from my point of view euro pound uh, could go all the way to 082 or even higher maybe even the 082 uh, 30 or even 082 80 but uh, target number one the conservative way uh, should be first of all so the 20 ma then play around for several days then possible continuation if it breaks through the 080 sorry then 078 will be the next area to watch for every trees that's about the euro pound what about Pacifics against the yen pair let's take a look on the OZ yen another OZ beautiful situation almost extreme weekly chart making a band to band potentially move right so from my point of view uh, OZ yen is coming to its beautiful buy situation there is a very nice support area around the 79 ish right something like that maybe push a little bit lower to around the 77 and that's our areas here we can see this all this area as a support right we can see Bollinger bands duplication already it could duplicate itself one more right but we are on extreme already uh, and these areas should be considered as buy opportunities from here the pair will retrace uh, like 200 pips up to around the 20 MA and the 200 moving average on a daily chart and breaking through this area will push it higher I do believe 
that the final the bottom is close and the pair will recreate its divergence making up then down again create a divergence and turn the direction again OZN is definitely a pair to follow for buy opportunities soon not yet but very 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 soon from the next support areas 200 tips is the first correction possible uh, then it could go deeper New Zealand in the end like a week or more ago we discussed about the head and shoulders for the New Zealand in the end and if it breaks through it will go to the supports well good news it reached the supports right here we go this is the support we have right now it has a support little bit lower it has one lower again and a deep, the deepest one around 60 the new Zealandian yen is a pair to be in buy from my point of view any new low that will be reached is an incredible buy opportunity for this beautiful pair going all the way back to the 20 MA and then go all and well I believe during the next two three weeks it should rebuild itself around these areas on this 150 200 pips range should rebuild itself recreate his this the daily divergence here build itself and go all the way up again maybe even to the 66 67 area so New Zealand in the end with its positive swap is the most recommended pair from my point of view to be in okay that's uh, one of the best most recommended pairs to be in also on the weekly chart we can see an attempt from band to band a band to band definitely can push it to around the 60 or even lower and then probably we will have around we will have around some beautiful opportunities for a strong buy so stay tuned for the New Zealand and yen one of the best pair to watch for a buy the next pair I want the next thing I want to talk about is the gold gold has a very interesting situation no divergences but extremes are coming 1550 is the first area to watch if it's broken 1485 if it's broken 1420 gold will uh, well, should keep lower gold should keep lower from my point of view each retrace up should be considered as sell opportunity I do think 1550 is the first target the breaking below this will open the doors for further further move I think the gold is bearish and strongly bearish I do see it is going down but when the right time comes and it may it makes the stop on the weekly chart in several months then it will be one of the best opportunities for gold to buy I'm waiting for that to start my buys around 1400 yes I believe it could go even as deep as to 1250 area yes I believe it could happen but as for the beginning I'm waiting for the 14 uh, hundred from there I'm waiting to buy. but it's still far still far it's not relevant for now so stay tuned and look for sell opportunities from my point of view breaking below 1550 should open the doors for further down move strong down move what about majors euro dollar as we discussed uh, on previous week breaking below 130 will open the doors so uh, it was broken and I believe your dollar is going down we have 128 ish uh, as a support 128.50 maybe then we have the 127 area I believe your dollar is going down but I do believe it's going down to create some divergence around this area still early to look at that this way but from my point of view that's what about to happen right the euro dollar should go lower uh, maybe to 125 again maybe even lower and then to create some beautiful uh, divergence and from there the weekly chart I believe we will retrace all the way <coughs> sorry all the way up again that's my expectations for the euro going down but for the last the last down moves Australian dollar same story I do believe we can go lower 
uh, parity level should be broken first for that to happen then 099 then 097 are the targets based on weekly charts that's what it is that's the strongest uh, support area we have 097 then 094 093 even right uh, I am bearish for long run for the Australian uh, below the breaking below the parity we are going to 099 breaking below 099 we are going to 97 <coughs> but on the short terms you can go for a four hour chart and enjoy the possible divergences around the daily support to attack the short term buys the short term cycles okay the short term cycles for the long cycles we definitely have more to go we can go much much uh, lower okay? the same of course about the New Zealandian even though from my point of view New Zealand comes to its bottom we have a support here around 078 stiff support area uh, breaking below that we will probably go to 07750 uh, I believe from this area New Zealand is about to correct itself for around 100 maybe 200 pips before continuing possibly lower about the indices few words uh, indexes indices indices where did I put the indices charts here we go that's the Nasdaq creating a flag here uh, and breaking below this flag from my point of view will open the doors uh, breaking below 2590 and this flag will open the doors for the Nasdaq to go to 2540 and then all the way back to 2480 the area where the divergence started for this of you who follow me long time I told you I expect the Nasdaq to reach this area before any possible new buy stay tuned it's about to happen soon and I do believe the Nasdaq uh, might reach even this line before making any retrace up again yes that's for long run but for short run I expect a break below the flag and moving down again the same with the S&P of course breaking below 1340 will open the doors for the S&P to move to 1320 then 1300 and then most likely to 1285 that's the expectations from my point of view for the S&P I, I am bearish for uh, for the indices some exotic stuff dollar sec watch that around the seven level uh, ish right? it could be a little bit lower looks good for a possible sell good opportunity should be around this level I believe dollar sec should begin the down move correction all the way back to six nine uh, ninety six eighty eight area Good luck with this one it looks good so that's all for now friends we have many 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 opportunities remember keep lower risks as possible how to keep lower risks by uh, lower lot size as possible great opportunities ahead of us make sure to be there because when the move comes uh, they will be strong make sure to be around when it happens have a beautiful, beautiful week, friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the live trading room and on our groups. Uh, happy Mother's Day for all the mothers around us. We love you very much, our dear moms. Thank you very much for once again for your time, friends, and see you uh, inside the members area. Yours, Vladimir.